buildings are made of bricks. Trees are made of wood. But you are made of food. You are what you ate. It's nutrition! Bill Nye the Science Guy. Inertia is a property of matter. T minus seven seconds. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy is brought to you by Eat Inc. Consuming the competition since 1986. There are special things in food called nutrients. You can't see them. But through laboratory studies, we know a great deal about nutrients. This is made of cloth. And this is made of glass. But you and I are made of food. That's right. Everything from your eyeballs to your elbows is made of food. Food's where you get your energy, too. That's why it's so important to have good nutrition. Take a look at this. It's our balanced diet nutrition platform of science. In each of these three baskets, we have the different kinds of foods you need to eat to stay healthy. Now, in the first basket, the big basket, we've got carbohydrates. You get carbohydrates from things like fruits and vegetables. Also grains, like you find in bread and pasta. Now, carbohydrates are what give you energy, allow you to move around and go like this. And in this basket, we've got proteins. You get proteins from things like uh, fish or beans. 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 And uh, beans. Protein helps build red blood and strong muscles. See, protein is what you're made of. It's your structure, like your bones and skin and eyes are made of protein. Protein kind of like a natural plastic. It's what gives you shape and structure. Now, in this basket, the smaller one, we have fats, the kind of fat you might get from uh, vegetable oil. And you've got to have some fats to be healthy because your nerves are coated with fat and your brain's got a lot of fat in it. Also, you have fat all over your body for insulation and padding. Now, throughout all these foods and all the different baskets are chemicals called vitamins and minerals. Minerals are kind of like rocks. Now, without vitamins and minerals, you can't use the nutrients in the other food. You have to have all these different kinds of foods to be healthy, to have good nutrition. Think about it. A balanced diet gives you all the nutrients you need. Most of us make about a liter of saliva every day. That's a lot of spit. So, let's have something to eat, shall we? Hey, you. We'll have a burger. Try this. Okay, Write down broth. everything you eat for a whole day, or better yet, a whole week. You'll be, be surprised at how much you have to eat, just to keep going. works its way down our esophagus, our food tube. Then a valve over our stomach opens, and the food gets in our stomach, where mm, we squeeze that's good. and mix it with mm. acid. Oh, look. It's my favorite it's TV time, show. The pyloric valve opens. What? The pyloric valve, it oh, opens. This is a funny guy. And lets food pass from our stomach into our small intestine. Wait, something's wrong. 
one of the food groups is missing. Do you know which one? Dessert. That's better. How do we know how many calories are in food? Well, please consider the following. Calories are a measure of energy, heat energy. When we combine the chemicals in this match with oxygen in the air, Nine, we're giving off heat. Eight, heat energy, seven, which we can measure six, in calories. Five, and this is exactly four, what we do with our food. Three, we combine two, them with oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Only at uh, much, much lower temperatures. <sighs> calories. Whew. So suppose we want to know how many calories are in a banana. Well, here's what we do. We dry the banana out, get most of the water out, until we get something like these banana chips. Then we grind the chips into a powder. Now, to make sure that it burns evenly and we get a nice, even amount of oxygen, we combine in uh, another chemical that's mostly oxygen. This is uh, potassium nitrate. Uh -huh. Grind them up together. And then we put them in here. This is a bomb calorimeter, a bomb that measures calories. And it's not going to blow up like a bomb, but there will be a fire inside. See, in there is the banana powder and oxygen chemical mixture. And these wires can set it burning electrically. This key means it's ready to go. <laughs> you ready? Uh, I don't know. Three, two, three, one, two, two, three, one, two. Oh, I started it. Three. Two, one. Yes, burning. So see, as the banana powder burns, it's giving off heat energy, calories. Now the heat's gonna get soaked up by the water in the beaker, and that will make the temperature on this thermometer go up. So a food calorie is the amount of heat energy it takes to heat one liter of water, one degree Celsius. That's it, that's what it is. One liter of water, one degree Celsius. So as it burns, we can see the thermometer is going up a couple of degrees Celsius. Now, if we measured all the calories in a typical banana carefully, we find there are about 130 calories in every banana. Now, a guy my size needs about 2,000 calories every day just to keep moving, just to walk around. I mean, think of all that heat energy. That's a lot of energy. But that's what you need to keep going. It's a lot of calories. Well, thank you for joining me on three, two, three. One, two, consider the following. They say you are what you eat. That's true. But even more, you are what you ate. See, because, because what you already eat, that's what you're made of. Think about it. I mean, your whole body is. We get minerals we need from the Earth's crust. We don't have to eat rocks or dirt to get them. Now, if we eat plants, plants soak up water from the soil, and at the same time, they soak up minerals. Now, whatever animal eats the minerals last gets to use them. So, for example, broccoli has the mineral calcium in it, and calcium is important for our teeth and bones. We get other minerals from other plants, like uh, carrots or rhubarb. <laughs> see, we need minerals, but we don't have to eat rocks to get them. <laughs> oh! See, we need minerals, but we don't have to eat rocks or dirt to get them. <laughs> oh! We have to have minerals, but we don't have to eat rocks to get them. <laughs> oh! Above all, experts on food emphasize the importance of balanced diets, in which variety is essential. Every American worker should have three square meals each day, including foods such as milk, eggs, or other protein foods, and vitamin D foods such as cereal and whole wheat. Iron is a mineral. It's a nutrient. You get it from your food. You need iron for your red blood cells and your muscles. In fact, this weight is made of iron. But the amount of iron you need every day is tiny. You can get it from foods like uh, cereal. So take a look at this. This is a magnet coated with plastic. And when it's on this special table, it spins. Now watch what happens when we add some cereal to this little beaker of water. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Now, 
We have to let it stir for a few minutes, so just wait right there. Okay. Now? Just about. Now? There we go, okay. okay. Ew. If we look on the magnet, they're iron particles. Iron is a mineral it's stuck right to the magnet. It's a nutrient. That iron came right out of the cereal. You get it from your food. It's a nutrient. It's part of your balanced diet. Here, did I, did I turn this thing on? Oh, ah, ah! But well, we don't have to eat rocks to get them. Oh! My name's Denise, and I'm a, a food scientist. And as a food scientist, one of my jobs is to analyze the, the nutrient analysis of all the different foods. When you're talking about foods, it's important to keep in mind that all foods have nutritive value to them. One of the real fun parts of my job is that I get to smash everything up and cut it up and grind it up. So I can get a well-mixed sample. After we grind them up, then we stick them in the oven so we can dry them out. This is the machine that we use to figure out how much fat is in a sample. I'm just putting the potato chips inside this filter paper. And I just sort of roll it up, work it up to this machine. And it takes a while, about six hours or so. But uh, this, the ether, the liquid here, just pulls the fat right out of the sample. What we do next is we take the dried sample. This is the dried apple sample. And we superheat it in this crucible to like 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 550 Celsius. It burns up everything except for the minerals. These are the minerals uh, that are in about two bites of apple. And here you might have um, calcium, zinc, and sodium. So after the fat test, um, this is what the fat looks like in the beakers. And this right here, this is the apple. You can see there's hardly any fat in this one. In comparison to the chips, remember the same size sample, and the chips have quite a bit more fat in them. They're pretty greasy. And then finally, you can look at the cupcake beaker. And this right here, it doesn't look like there's as much fat in it. But this is more solid fat. This is the saturated fat, which isn't really as good for your heart. It's food. It's science. It's food science. Everything was fresh and nice. On packages of food sold in the United States, there's a list of nutrients, and it's called the nutrition facts. So if you look on a typical box of cereal, like this one, you'll find a list of nutrients, and for each nutrient, there's a daily value, how much of that nutrient you need every day. So, like for example, right here, here's vitamin A. That tells you how much of the vitamin A you need every day is in a serving of this cereal. And usually, near the nutrition facts will be a list of the ingredients. And the ingredients are listed in order. The more of one ingredient, well, the higher it is on the list. So if you see sugar first or second, well, there's going to be a lot of sugar. And there might be a lot of empty calories in whatever food that is. So the daily values allow you to compare one type of food to another type of food. And make sure you're getting all the nutrients you need every day, your, your daily value. I choose to bake bread. And buns and bacon powder biscuits and all that. Foods called carbohydrates are very good energy sources. You can find carbohydrates in lots of different kinds of foods, like fruits, apples, and oranges, or vegetables like carrots and cucumbers, or even in beans and bread and potatoes. All of these carbohydrates are used so that our body can make energy. Here you go. You're made of protein. Protein's the building block of your body. Like uh, bones, skin, tendons, and teeth, they're all made of protein. And you get protein from the food you eat. Now, when you eat things that are made from animals, like milk, eggs, or meat, you're getting what we call complete proteins. Now, complete proteins are proteins that your body doesn't make for itself, but you've got to have. And when you eat fruits and vegetables, plants, none of them have complete proteins. But think about this. If you eat certain plants together, like rice and beans, beans. they have what we call complementary proteins. And the two of them work as a team to make complete proteins. 
Same thing is true of squash and soybeans or tofu. They have complementary proteins and they make complete proteins. And here's the thing, in Central and South American cultures, people have eaten rice with beans for centuries. And in Asian cultures, people have eaten squash with soybeans or tofu for centuries. Coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. Here, uh, have some complete proteins. No, that's... Here, here you That's go. okay. No, really, I don't, I don't want it! Our bodies need lots of different kinds of foods to stay healthy, including fat. Our bodies need fat because it cushions our insides, the palms of our hands, the soles of our feet, and even our butts. All the fat our body needs in a day is in about one tablespoon of vegetable oil. That's about 15 milliliters. That's it! That's all! And that's the fat on fat. are 60% fat, so that when you call someone fathead, it's not an insult, it's the truth. Hey, fathead! Yeah, you! Me? I'm not a fathead, you're a fathead. We're both fatheads, don't you get it? No, I don't get it, because you're a fathead before I was a fathead. We both have 60% fathead, fathead. We're both fatheads. No, you're a fathead, I'm a smallhead. You don't have a brain then. Just because two foods have the same number of calories, that doesn't mean they're equally good for you. Let's compare this soda with this potato. They would both give you about the same amount of energy. But this potato, Bill, also gives your body protein to build strong muscles, and minerals like iron that are good for your blood, and fiber to sweep food through your system. Whereas that soda has no minerals, no protein, and no fiber. Nothing but 100 calories from sugar. Now, when foods have calories with almost no nutrients, we like to call those empty calories. Excuse me. Empty calories. I guess so. I'm going to stick with a potato. <coughs> Looks good. Oh, hi. I was just commenting on how good this fiber is. Oh. Fiber is the stuff in certain foods that our bodies don't even digest. So why do we have it? Well, it acts kind of like this plumber's tool. It pushes the food through your insides. And scrapes out things like bacteria and other things that can make us sick. You can find fiber in foods like vegetables, fruits, and whole grains, like bran and popcorn, which you should probably eat a lot of to stay healthy. Fiber keeps our systems moving. I'm not really hungry anymore. Eat your fiber. Vitamins and minerals. What? Vitamins and minerals. What? Balanced diet. Fabulous fibers of fibrosity. Fiber pushes the food through your insides. <laughs> So, what is waste anyway? Well, basically, it's what's left over after your body has squeezed and extracted all the nutrients it can from the food you eat. It's uh, very natural. It's the last step in the digestion process. It happens every day. When you're not eating, we say you're fasting. So when you sleep eight hours and you don't eat, we say that's a fast. So then in the morning when you get up, you want to break your fast. You want to eat breakfast, breakfast, get it? <laughs> anyway, a breakfast like this is very important because fuel for humans is food. Trying to run around all day without having eaten breakfast is like running a car on an empty gas tank. So you got to eat breakfast or you're not going to have enough energy for the whole day. If you don't eat breakfast, you'll just be slowed down. So always eat breakfast and you'll have enough energy <laughs> for, for all day. I'm here today to tell you about the benefits 
of the food weight pyramid. Mm. Now, let's say you had an extra 1,500 calories a day to burn. Okay, what are some ways we could get those calories? Well, we could eat fats and oils and sweets, butter, horns and chips and that kind of thing, but you want to use those sparingly. As you move down the pyramid, more interesting. Milk, yogurt, cheese, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, beans, nuts, that kind of thing. And again, eat more servings of those. And look way down here, vegetables and fruits, oh, yummy yeah. good. Eat about five servings of that. You can't overdo it. But right here, that's where you want to be. This is the foundation of our pyramid, bread, cereal, rice, and pasta. It is good, and it is good for you. Does that sound good? And the beautiful part about all of this is that you can enjoy all that food, and you can do it in your spare time. Does that sound good? Now, do you have some friends that might like to get involved? Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I've got some end drive. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. She lets you jump and play and run as soon as you get out of bed. She has the food that's made for fun, Miss Carbohydrate Head. Miss Carbohydrate Head. It's Miss Carbohydrate Head. Fruits and vegetables brimming with energy. You'll find them everywhere. Starring Carbo Miranda. No batteries needed. We have to have minerals, but we don't have to eat rocks to get them.